I take no significant issue with the protests and encampments that are happening on college campuses. I say good on them. It's a perfectly decent and reasonable way of protesting. It draws attention without causing serious issues. I mean, you could say that, it, oh, it has issues at the colleges, and I'm like, yeah, but uh, is everyone in college? You know, they're, they're not blocking freeways. They're not blocking important bridges. It's not throwing soup on famous paintings. It's not vandalizing. It's not arson. It's generally peaceful, even if there are a lot of angry people. You know, what they're doing draws attention without causing serious issues. I'm hoping that this is a sign that people learn from the BLM protests what not to do. And yes, there are unfortunately a number of anti-Semitic people in these protests, in these demonstrations. And there are those who flat out support Hamas in these demonstrations as well. But fortunately, they're not being violent. At least not until police try to step in to break everything up and then things get kind of weird there. But there are a number of protesters that are making Jewish people very, very uncomfortable on campus. I'll admit that I don't really know how to address that, other than really talking about these issues bluntly. Stop just automatically associating anti-Zionist viewpoints with anti-Jewish viewpoints, because they're not necessarily the same thing. There's plenty of Jewish people who are against what Israel is doing, and some of them have joined these protests. Now, if you're saying that these protests make people who are pro-Israel really uncomfortable, I'm like, oh, well, good. Honestly, how can you support Israel with what they've done? Yes, I get that about 1,500 Jews on October 7th were targeted by Hamas. But killing 40,000 Palestinians in retaliation and blocking food, water, and necessities is not an acceptable answer. Doesn't matter if you think it's actually a genocide or not, that is not an acceptable answer to what was done to them. And yes, I get that many people in Gaza who I support the right to live wouldn't necessarily support my right to live as a gay man. Doesn't matter to me. I can be kind to those who would not be kind to me. And I don't really care if I look stupid for it. Just saying.